Hey everybody, Rick here. The Jeep is all packed for another adventure. Today we're gonna go to the little big Econ State Forest. Let the adventure begin. No, we're not there yet. You see, we're going to a forest. If I want to eat today, I've got to bring food with me. So we're making a little pit stop at Publix first. Okay, all done with my shopping. In case you're wondering, my go-to cold sub for a road trip is the Grab and Go Publix Cuban Sandwich. And now, we can hit the road for real. The Little Big Econ State Forest. I'll talk more about that name when we get there but it is about a 45 minute drive from the theme park areas. It's located in Seminole County, just east of Orlando. And yes, I do find it funny. For me to get to the state forest, I have to drive through downtown. For most of my working career, I did work in downtown Orlando, but that is no more. Today, I'm working from the forest. Well, okay, we have made it to our final destination, the little big Econ State Forest. Let me get the kayak ready, and then we'll show you around the place and give you information and just enjoy our day. And after about 10 minutes of setup, I am ready to hit the river. But first, let me show you my launch area. There are multiple entry points to the little big Econ State Forest. I chose one that was easy access for a kayak. This state forest is named after the Econlock Hatchie River. The Econlock Hatchie River has two parts, a little part and a big part. Hence the name Little Big Econ State Forest. Most people don't want to say Econlock Hatchie. I think it's fun to say, so they just call it the Econ. There are two launch points at this particular location for canoes or kayaks. Here's one. This is the one I did not use. I chose this side of the bridge just because it seemed a little easier. Now, there are two other canoe and kayak launch areas on this river. I just happened to choose this one, and I'll tell you why. This access point to the forest has the canoe kayak launch and also the Florida Trail right next to it. Easy access to the Florida Trail and to launch any type of kayak or canoe. I'll tell you more about the Florida Trail as we go down the river. But here's something I should let you know. When I go do these adventures, like kayaking and stuff on my own, I do stay in contact with Nikki. I let her know when I arrive. I let her know when I launch the, uh, the kayak. So just for safety reasons. So she is aware of where I am and when I'm on the water. And I will stay in contact with her throughout the day. Cause you know, safety first. Now let's get in this bad boy and explore the river. There's some of the trail right there. See the trail, the Florida trail, goes right by the Econlachachi River. Not too far from where we started, see that platform? There is a rope swing there for some brave people who want to swing and jump into the river. Now that we've made it onto the river, let's paddle down, give you some information, tell you all about this state forest and the Econlachachi River. Well, we've spotted our first alligator of the day over there on the bank there. Oh, goodness, he's moving. I scared him off. I don't like the look of that. I like to keep them in my eyesight, not 
to have them under the water. That was a pretty big one. I think I'm just going to pause here for a moment. Let him have his space. FYI, I do keep a diver's knife on me at all times. Never had to use it on a <laughs> fighting an alligator. I don't want to start today, that's for sure. Okay, I think we've given that gator enough time. I'm going to continue to paddle on. Um, I usually don't spook so easy. I did not like the fact that when it saw me, it immediately went into the water. Usually, they just lay there and let us paddle on by, so I didn't like that. But I think we're going to try to, to forge on. Plus, the place I wanted to eat lunch is down this way, and I did keep an eye out for that gator. He did not swim this way. So... We'll see if we find him again. I hope not. Okay, now that I'm on the water, paddling upstream and against the wind, I might add, let me tell you a little more about the Little Big Econ State Forest and the Econolochatchee River. The forest is approximately 10,336 acres. Like I said earlier, it is located in Seminole County, east of Orlando. Now, Econolochatchee, which most people just shorten to Econ, means and it translates to river of many mounds and we'll see as we go down this river how like uh, how unique it is for a florida river to be i guess set so low and like each side of the river to be like surrounded by mounds that's kind of unique for florida this forest the little big econ state forest is a great place for hiking for biking for horseback riding for paddling and fishing we're going to do paddling today I might take a little bit of a hike, um, just a few meters, not very far, just to show you what it's like. Now, as far as the hiking trails, the American Hiking Society has named the Little Big Econ State Forest as one of the country's most family-friendly hikes. This forest has 16.3 miles of hiking trails, including 8 miles of the Florida National Scenic Trail. In addition to that Florida National Scenic Trail, there are three other hiking trails here. Plus, there is a 12.4 mile bike trail and a 9.3 mile horse trail. And of course, there is a paddling trail, the Econ River here, which is over 20 miles long. And trust me, we are not going to go near 20 miles today. The little big Econ State Forest does offer primitive camping opportunities at the West Camp. Tracks of this forest are part of the Great Florida Burning and Wildlife Trail, which has over 160 bird species. Maybe we'll see one or two today. Hopefully not any buzzards. I don't know if you guys can make it out, but there's a bicyclist right there going down the bike trail. I did not put on my center fin for the kayak today. Uh, it is winter, February, even though it will get up to 85 degrees today, but it is the dry season. So I thought uh, parts of the river might be a little shallow, plus with the trees falling down. And uh, you know what? I think I made a good decision. I just barely got over a tree that was laying in the water there. Right in front of us here on this log, we have a turtle sunning itself. I'd much rather see this turtle than that alligator. And you know what? I guess they just don't like the sound of my voice. I think that is what spooked the gator. If I wasn't talking, I think it would have stayed there, but... Uh, Nature doesn't like the sound of my voice. I'm sure I have some viewers that feel the same way. I found a little bank here to pull over. Talk to you guys more about that gator and the wildlife. Even though, you know what, there is a better beach down the way that I'm trying to get to. I thought I'd pull over now. Don't know how smart that was, but that's what I decided to do. I just wanted to say that anytime I'm out here in nature, I do take the wildlife seriously. Today, I'm on a river could come across some gators. The people who are hiking and biking today, they could come across bear or Florida bobcat or panthers or cougars or who knows what. So anytime you're out in nature, you have to take it seriously. And I do. When I started out on this river today, I intended to make my way all the way to Gator's Triple Lindy Jump Tree. With the current the way it is, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'll be lucky to make it to the little beach area and like a trail bridge that I have in mind. So there's a lot more information on the Florida Trail and the Little Big Econ State Park. Too much for me to tell you. What I'm gonna do is I will leave you links, probably several links uh, regarding the Florida Trail and 
the Little Big Econ State Park because there's multiple places, like I said earlier, multiple places for you to come and visit. I just happened to choose a spot today that was easy access for my kayak. But when I leave, I might drive by one or two other access points for you. Let's see if I can make it under this tree. Oh boy. Here we go. I mean, I'm doing it because I think it's a cool shot. I think I can do it. I did it. <laughs> Barely. So this is kind of what makes the Aconlockhatchee River unique for Florida. See how low the river is compared to the ground up there? How the river's kind of like driven or sunken in compared to the the walking ground you don't get a lot of that in florida that's why this river a little bit unique well this is pretty cool it's not often you see a natural florida waterfall but this is what one looks like let me zoom out to give you a scale there it is <laughs> there's our waterfall still pretty cool though for florida Look at these three guys up in the tree. You guys aren't waiting on me, are you? I'm gonna be just fine. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll be just fine. Nikki always says, don't give up five minutes before the miracle. And she is right. I made it to the bridge. This little beach area I wanna have lunch at. This is one of the trail bridges that goes over the river. I didn't think I was going to make it, but I did. So this is the first landmark I wanted to make it to. That bridge right there, part of the Florida Trail or one of the bike trails that they have here. And then this beach is where I'm going to have my lunch. But it was a harder paddle than I expected. I was going against the current and against the wind and the current was stronger than I expected. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna have my lunch. I'll show you around a little bit of this little area and then we will enjoy our easy paddle back to the Jeep. So in looking around the area, I found a little bench back here in the shade. Right back here, I will sit down, enjoy a drink and my Cuban sandwich. Dessert, a sugar-free cookie. All done with my lunch means I can show you around. There's my beach. There is my Zeppelin kayak. There is the Econolokhatchee River. There's the bridge. We're gonna go take a closer look at that right now. Here is the little pathway we're taking to the bridge. Saw a few bicyclists go over it as I was having my lunch. Goes on a bit that way. Over here, a few more benches for people to take a rest at. Uh, this is part of the, the hiking trail. I guess this one is the outback portion of the trail. But there's the map and everything. Goes that way. We'll, we'll take it just for a bit. Not far. Not far at all. This is not, by the way, part of the horse trail. No, no, no. This is the walking trail. The bridge is part of the bike trail. In case of emergency, this is your location. Call 911 and that's where I am. Trail goes back that way, or I can see some people go this way to take a closer look at the river. Oh, look at that, oh, it's like we're exploring. So when I go back downstream, I am gonna come back on this side of the bridge, kinda of start right here, do a U-turn. That way I can get some cool GoPro images of us going under the bridge. I think, I don't know if that big tree's in the way, we'll see. I'll take a, I better analyze this a bit more. Well, I think I can do it. I just can't go all the way back there because that's messy right there. I could just come like right here, do my U-turn, come around this way under the bridge for you guys. I think that's the best way to do it. Stay tuned, an incident may occur. Back onto the trail, just for a few meters, not far. 
So what is the Florida Trail? The Florida Trail is our statewide national scenic trail. It is one of only 11 long distance trails distinguished as a national scenic trail in America. It spans over 1,400 miles. That's from the top of the state to the bottom of the state, from Pensacola Beach all the way down to the edge of the Everglades. You can hike just sections of it, or you can hike the whole thing. In order to hike, the entire Florida Trail would take you, and this is what they tell me on the internet, 60 to 90 days. I do not have first-hand proof of that. I will take the state's word for it. Okay, on to the bridge. Let's look over to our right and make sure my kayak is still there. Make sure the wind and current didn't catch it and take it on downstream. Oof, it's there. Okay, well here's the bridge. There's one side of it. There is a canoe and kayak launch way down that way. So I, it'd be easier to get here that way, but then you do have to go back unless you have some type of shuttle picking you up. And then this is the side of the river we've explored already. I've seen one dead wild boar, one alligator, like five turtles, a few buzzards, and some bicyclists. What we're looking at now appears to be remnants of an older bridge or something. I don't know. An older bridge? Railway? I don't know. Railway bridge? Car bridge? Person bridge? Whatever it is, it's seen better days. And by the way, I have been the only person on the water today. No other kayakers, canoers, nothing. Have it all to myself. And did I happen to tell you how long it took me to get here? Keep in mind, I was going upstream against the wind and I did take a couple of breaks for like filming and I took an alligator break. Remember that, I took an alligator break. Uh, it took me about two hours. That's why I needed that Cuban sandwich to refuel. But I won't need much energy on the way back. I'm going with the current and the wind. This is the fun time. I paid the price coming upstream. Now I reap the rewards. All right, let's put on a fresh coat of bug repellent and shove off down the river. Hope you guys enjoyed that 10 seconds of bridge scene. I paddled two hours to show it to you. This is what I needed. You guys know, at least most of you, I think probably 99% of the people who watch this channel watch my theme park channel, which can be a little hectic. This is what I needed. This is relaxing now. I didn't show you guys this going, but coming back, I got stuck in the same spot. That tree fell a little too far out, and it's a little too shallow right there. So I'll just walk it right over there and relaunch. And that hawk had strong feelings about that. FYI, I do check my surroundings before getting out of my kayak. This river has a lot of interesting fallen tree formations. Yeah, so just to be clear, 
this river a few more obstacles than the other ones we've kayaked recently. There's that rope swing again. We must be getting pretty close to where we started. Even though there's a lot of obstacles, the obstacles does make it more scenic. But aren't all these rivers scenic? There's our alligator friend again. This time he's staying put. And there's a gentleman over there fly fishing. Good afternoon. Throughout my day, I have noticed some very unique tracks along the shoreline. I don't know what any of them are. Critters. We'll just classify them all as critters. All right, we've made it back to shore. No incidents. The only creature I need to be aware of now is man. Okay, we're all packed up, but we're not done. I'm gonna go show you one maybe two other spots you can access this forest from just two miles north of where we were this is sort of the headquarters for the forest and also this is the start of the horse trail and then just a short way down this road that is the state forest headquarters and then also a picnic pavilion right over there and in case you were wondering the forest does have hours it's open from sunrise to sunset and then there's another trailhead entrance south of here. I'll show you that one on the way home. And here, not even one minute south of where we launched our canoe, the Jones East Trailhead, this is where you can bicycle. This is the bike trail. So if you don't want to paddle, you can pedal. This is where you would do it from. They even have an informational board here. I guess this map kind of shows you the the bike trail there you go I didn't have that they even have a restroom I didn't have that either a water station to hose down your bike I could have used that for my kayak and right this way the start of the bike trail and there you go guys three locations within minutes of each other to enter this forest but like I said, this is a 10,000 acre forest. There's lots of places to enter, but just right here, three of them. And you can enter the forest by foot, by bike, by kayak, by canoe, by foot. Did I say foot already? <laughs> by horse, the one, that's the one I missed, by horse. So there you go. I'll leave information for the forest and the Econ River in the description box. But now let's head to the Jeep and we'll wrap this up at the house. One hour later. Hey Winnie. Dad is home. Hello. Hello. Dad is home. Yes. Back from the little big econ state forest. Hi, Winnie. Yes. Hey, everybody. It's me and Winnie. We're home, Winnie. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I smell like uh, a combination of bug repellent and sunscreen. <laughs> but that is it, my friends. We are back from the little big econ state park. A great place for an active person. Not like that lazy dog over there. Oh goodness, that was a lot of... Did you use up all your energy saying hello? Uh, a great place for an active person. Hiking, biking. I saw a lot of people like with mountain bikes there. That was like the big thing. Um, pretty, pretty exhausting for me. I've never been so tired. It was a long upstream against the wind paddle uh, the first half of my day. The second, the second half coming back was easy. Uh, but like I said earlier, I will leave all the information. Hey, Winnie, let's do it this way. This is better. That's a better shot. Um, I will leave all the information for the state park and the Econolokhatchee River in the description box. Go check it out. And as always, adventure is out there. You'll find it on a road trip.